Hello and welcome to Art Corner of the Internet. My name is Mario Ghost and today we are going to be unboxing a MacBook Pro. So this is going to be the Mac Pro, Pro 16 inch and I got this because I'm going to be going to college soon and there's just a lot of things, you know, uh, business, college, and then also YouTube, of course. So, you know, all of those factors made me, like if it, if it weren't for all of those, then I would probably get like the MacBook Air or something like that, which is a lot cheaper. Um, but since I wanna do all those things, music too, um, editing and Final Cut Pro and all that stuff, I went ahead and decided to go for the MacBook Pro and I am unbelievably excited. It's a little early, so that's why I, <laughs> my voice is a little tired, but I cannot explain how excited I am for this. So, Let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, I've got the Kaiser Uprising. This is the Kaiser Uprising knife. Um, I did a video on it. I might link it below. I don't know. I'm just excited to get into this. Ooh, like butter. Okay. All right. How's this gonna work? Oh, there it is, dude. There it is. I don't know. Can the camera see it there? I think you can. All right. Whoo. That's, that's a thick boy. That is a big, big computer. All right. So, um, I got the upper base model. And what I mean by that is I got the one, not the i7, but the i9, but I got the base i9 version. So what that comes with is a i9 processor, a 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of storage. Let me see what the graphics card is on here. It is a AMD Radeon Pro 550, uh, 5500X m with four gigs of gdd gddr6 memory um but blah, blah, of course it's got the thunderbolt stuff but yeah that's just the peripherals and stuff like that so yeah um and like i said this is a 16 inch version i am super super excited to get into this so let's just do it let's do it this way oh my gosh <laughs> All right. This thing is going to carry me for years to come, as long as I don't break it. Knock on wood. Uh. Whew. This is really heavy, guys. Like, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but even with the box, it's heavy. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> come on. Oh my goodness, there she is. Oops, let's put that there. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Space Gray version. Um, and it just, it looks so good. It looks so good. Oh, it's really heavy. There it is. We'll go ahead and get to that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and put this box on the floor. And let's go into what's inside the box. So here, we've just got paperwork made by Apple in California, made by California and Apple. Um, let's see what else we got. MacBook Pro, so it looks like we just got some paperwork, which I am new to Mac. Um, I am traditionally a Windows user. So this will be very helpful for me. Um, we've got gray stickers gray Apple stickers right here. Boom. And then this just looks like some legal stuff. And there's more in here. Nope, that's actually it. It's just a piece of cardboard to make it stiffer. Okay, so just in case, might as well just hold on to that stuff. We'll put that down here. All right, here you got your USB-C to USB-C cable. This is pretty thick, so one thing you'll notice is that it's a little thicker than um, than a normal USB-C cable. Um, I don't know why. I mean, it makes sense because for me, I'd want my cable to be a little bit tougher um, for a laptop at least. But yeah, so here is the USB-C cable. It's a pretty reasonable length. 
Um, <laughs> I just really want to get into the computer right now. And then we've got our uh, charging brick right here. I don't know how many watts this is. This actually feels kind of nice. It's like a, a paper. It feels really nice. I think Apple is trying to be a little bit more like uh, eco-friendly. So this is kind of, I guess, their way of doing that. But yeah. So. That. That looks nice, man. It's heavy. It's really heavy. It is, how many watts is it? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I cannot tell. Oh, 96. Okay, I was going to guess 90, but it's 96 watts. All right, so you've got your power adapter. This should charge the MacBook just fine. All right. And now, let us get into what we're really here for. The MacBook. All right. Whew. Okay, let's be careful here. All right. Oh man, that looks beautiful. That's that's a really nice piece of technology there, man. Wow. All right, let's just get into it. Let us just get into it. Let's see. Let's do it this. Actually, I don't know what the camera can see. So let me check that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna hope that the top down camera can see this. So let's go ahead and let's back it up a little bit. And then, oh yeah, this is a MacBook so you can open it one handed, right? Oh, that's so nice. Oh, it turns on automatically. That's such an Apple thing. <laughs> wow. That is, that's gorgeous. That's so nice. Okay, let's make sure that you guys can see this screen, hopefully. Okay. All right, language. Of course, we want to go English. I think, I watched a lot of videos on like MacBook setup, so I knew what I would be getting into. Um, to use English as the main language, press the return key. Okay. Um, <laughs> but... Um, I, I looked up a lot of setup videos, so I think one of the first things I want to do is increase the trackpad sensitivity, but this is a huge trackpad. Like, it's like the size of my hand or something. Um, so let's back that up a little bit. English. Habla English. I don't know how you say that in Spanish. Okay. Let's go. Oh, there's the touch bar. Okay. So it looks like this ha comes pre-installed with Catalina still instead of Big Sur. Oh yeah, speaking of, um, I am aware of the M1 uh, new MacBook chips and I personally um, wanted to get the 16 inch vest just because of the size and the power that it gives. Um, I do know that the M1 chip is a lot more efficient, but at least for my Mac purpose- OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. Stop. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press- Yeah, that's enough. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I don't want to wait for an M1 16 inch because I'm going to college soon. So I need a laptop and work needs to be done now. So that's why I got this and I am more than happy with it. All right, select your Wi-Fi network. Awesome, data and privacy. Uh, blah, blah, privacy, okay, privacy stuff. Um, I don't want to transfer any information because I don't think I've had like a MacBook. So let's go ahead and hit don't. All right. Okay, so now we're just on the terms and conditions. I might've cut some stuff because there was uh, some personal information. So let us go. So terms and conditions, who reads that honestly? I you probably should, but yes, I agree. All right. Um, Create a computer account, Jeffrey McDuffie, account name. What should my account name be? So we've got to enter a password. I'll be right back. All right, so I've actually had this computer for a while now. This is uh, probably two weeks later from the last part I filmed this video. Um, I have just been busy. And then like, you know, the more you put something off, the more you just don't want to do it. Um, or not don't want to do it, but you just like, 
it, it seems so much harder to get back into it. Um, but yeah, so um, I kind of got a lot of the settings that I wanted um, filled out. So basically, we're just going to walk through the apps that I've got. Um, and we're going to take a look at how I set up my bookmarks. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and go to the launchpad. All right, other than all the basic stuff, um, OneDrive, okay. So in my experience, OneDrive actually hasn't really worked that well. Like it works on the computer if you're referencing files on the computer, but if you're trying to move those files into like another you know, application or website or something, it seems to struggle a bit there. It might just be me, it might be user error, but yeah. Um, and then of course we got Final Cut Pro, which, oh my goodness, I love. Um, the first video, the first video I did with this was the um, Mission Workshop backpack uh, opening, unboxing thing, review, if you wanna call it a review. Um, but yeah, I was actually able to do so much more with Final Cut Pro. It's so easy, it's so fast on this computer. Um, so yeah, I finally, finally got Final Cut Pro and I was super happy about it. We've also got Logic Pro. Now Logic Pro is like the equivalent of Final Cut Pro, but for music production. Um, and since I love music, I'm kind of learning piano and a little bit of theory. I really want to use Logic and I'm kind of learning. I've made some stuff, um, but I'm super excited to learn more. Google Chrome, of course, I use Safari mainly at least I started using Safari more now that I'm on Mac. Um, so I only use Google Chrome if I'm gonna use YouTube or something, or just, I don't know, some, sometimes I use Chrome. I, I mainly use Chrome on my uh, PC. Notion uh, is where I organize all of these videos. It's where I take my notes for them. Alfred, I don't really find myself using Alfred. Oops, what did I do? Let's go back. Um, I don't really find myself using Alfred as much as I find myself using Spotlight. Um, I know Alfred is a much more powerful powerful tool, but I just use Spotlight. Uh, Microsoft Teams came with Office, so I don't use that. OneNote, I use Bear, and I use um, Notion instead. PowerPoint, uh, I might use it eventually, but not right now. Microsoft Word, Outlook, Excel, all of that came with Microsoft Office. Um, Discord is what I use to talk to my friends mainly. Uh, Infetamine is a, an app that keeps your desktop on. So like if you're working on something important um, and you don't want to sleep. Magnet is what you use to snap things to different windows because for some reason Mac OS doesn't let you do that. Um, or I don't think they let you do it easily. Um, Pocket for saving articles, Bear for taking notes, Grammarly for checking my grammar. Honey for um, saving money. Pocket, oh, same thing, Adblock, which in my experience doesn't work well for Safari. I'm not sure, I might be doing something wrong, um, but it doesn't work well. Spotify, of course, for music. Jamstick is actually a, um, Jamstick is this electronic guitar that I've got, and this is the software for that. Um, Journey for journaling, LastPass for passwords. M installer is something to use to install plugins to Final Cut Pro. Um, Audacity for recording audio, the compressor for compressing video. Lockdown browser is for taking tests um, and stuff like that, like school tests. QuickTime player, I think that's the de default video player. So that's just basic stuff. Um, yeah, okay, next and yeah. And Zoom, of course, um, for those remote learning things and all that. So um, lastly, the last thing we're gonna go over is the, um, not the app store, but rather my, what I've got in Safari. So the few bookmarks that I have, the things that I use the most often are going to be YouTube, of course. I'm always on YouTube, it's my main form of entertainment. Um, Gmail for checking my email, Twitter, Admittedly, I don't use Twitter as much and I'm happy that I don't because I feel like it can be really toxic sometimes. Um, but if something happens and I wanna learn more about it, it's nice to, to like see you know, what people are talking about. Medium is a place where anyone can write articles and um, I even write some articles on there too. Uh, Amazon, of course, who doesn't know what Amazon is? 
And then I've got this list for EDC stuff because I feel like it's really hard sometimes to find like really good stuff. Like in the days of Amazon when you know, you want to find like a pocket knife, but you search that on Amazon, you're not going to get anything too great. Like, yeah, they'll get something for like 20 bucks and it'll last for a bit. But like, if you're looking for like really premium, uh, well-built stuff, I find that going to like these websites right here are really good. So Huckberry, um, has really cool, um, gear. I like it for like more like bags and stuff bags, clothing is good to find, uh, but they also have like EDC gear and all that stuff, like um, pocket knives, pens, all that stuff. Uh, what else? Everyday Carry is actually good for learning about new things, so it's not a marketplace, but it's good about for learning about new gear. Um, Carryology, great for, um, that's going to be for learning about bags and stuff. So let's say you're shopping for a new backpack or something, Carryology is a great website if you want to just get the best or find the best bag for you. Um, Gallantry is another site like Huckberry. High Consumption is again, another one, except that that one's a little bit more article based, but I think you can buy stuff on there. Um, actually, I'm not sure about that. And then Cool Material is one of my new favorites. I recently found that um, and you can find a lot of cool stuff on there. And then there's one that I need to add to is um, Urban EDC to Supply. They have a lot of like exclusive drops and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so that is going to be my Chrome bookmarks. Is there anything else I'm missing? Nope, I think that's it. So yeah, um, I've been using this for like the past two weeks, maybe three weeks by now. I love it. I love it so much. Um, just the whole, like using it is, like it's super quick. Editing this on this thing is just crazy fast. Um, being able to like work with tracks and Logic Pro too. Um, and then also just, just the user interface is really nice to just as Apple stuff is. Um, so I really like it, you know? It's of course not gonna replace my PC because that's what I use for gaming. But if it ever comes for like school, um, productivity, any of that kind of stuff, this is going to be the workhorse. So I love it. Feels great to use. It's slim, powerful. It's a great, it's a great machine. So super happy with the purchase so far. But yeah, um, anyways, who it's been a while. I, I, I can't believe I put this video f uh, off for so long, but anyways, if you're still watching, thanks. If you like the video, consider subscribing maybe. Um, you can also hit the like button and ring the bell for notifications of when I post. I think that's how it works, right? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, and you know, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. This was, I think, one of my first videos in a long time, at least when it comes to the timeline, because I started recording this. This was actually the first video I recorded when I got this. And then I recorded another video, which was the Mission Workshop Backpack. And then now I'm finally getting to showing you guys like the apps that I installed on here. So it's been a while. Um, so things might look different. I might look different. My, my hair might be different, but yeah. But anyways, thanks. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next video.